Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video on my Road to Max series. Sorry it's been a bit of a while since the previous video, but uh, I've been doing a lot of skilling and backing up a lot of clips. So December should be a pretty uh, pretty heavy month for the content and a lot of episodes to be come out as well. So starting this video off with our armor task, and we've just got a chain skirt from the minion. And after the minion chain skirt, we also picked up an armor hilt from the boss as well. So I've been doing a lot of armor at the minute um, and did a lot of armor for Slayer as well. So I wanted to rack up that KC for a chance at a pet. But also make some money while the armor pieces were high. Um, in terms of this video, we're going to be doing a, still do quite a bit of Slayer. Uh, I've still got to finish off all my melee stats as well. And as you can see here, I've just got 98 defense. Hopefully get them all to 98 this uh, episode or maybe even 99, depending on how good the tasks are. So every Friday, I normally do a raid trip or do a couple of raids with the boys. And um, on this one Friday, we decided that raids were a bit too much. Cox weren't being nice with us in terms of drop, so I thought, you know what, we'll go Bandos, and uh, there's me picking up a Bandos chestplate for the collection log. Now, that is actually a tank kill, so my attackers were slacking on that kill, um, but again, the Bandos chestplate was something around 27 to 28 mil, so just under 10 mil for a split was not too bad for a Friday. Uh, and as you can see by my prophetic collection log, that is the first one I've ever received, so that is a slot in. And yeah, not too bad of a trip. So like I said in the previous clip, uh, this episode will be quite heavily focused on Slayer again. And that's because I'm procrastinating the other skills, but I've still got quite a lot of my combat stats to get to 99. So in this episode, I am actually going to do quite a bit of Konar Slayer, which I don't actually like. Um, I much prefer Jurodel because it's way more flexible. But a video which has already been released is my loot from 100 keys, which is, this is the process of me getting those 100 keys. So off we go. So that's the Rune Dragons done. Um, not too bad of a task really. The Dragon Lance is just so good at uh, Rune Dragons, so accurate as well. And actually for a quick task, it actually makes a little bit of money as well. Um, so what was going on going to give us next time? Hellhounds in Witchhaven Dungeon, which I actually do think is a cannon spot, so it's actually not that awful. And Hellhounds is not going to take long to do anyway, so we'll go and get them done. Right, back for the next task. And Dark Beast, which is beautiful. It's what we want for Slayer at the minute. It's AFK. A lot of melee XP, and uh, we hopefully they'll just crack out a couple of keys. So we'll come back when they're done. So if you didn't see the episode, this is uh, basically my loot from 100 Brimstone Keys. I had an odd number left in the bank, and it was really annoying me, and it was kind of taking up the bank space, so I just thought, let's just clear it and uh, see what we can get from it. Actually made a decent amount. I think I made something like 6 mil, um, which is it's decent. Um, if you want to see that video, I will link it in the corner somewhere here. And if I haven't, um, then it's definitely on my channel if you want to view it as well. But uh, that's basically the loot. We didn't get anything special. Um, and it was actually just a decent bit of GP, which you kind of forget about. Um, Slay with Konar. But uh, we're definitely going to go back to Jurodel. Jurodel just gives you so much more flexibility on making kill the tasks. Because some just have a better cannon spot in other places. But yeah, let's get back to it. So this is definitely the point where I hit the I can't be bothered to do boss tasks for a little bit. And I just want to keep cranking out the XP. Blue Dragons is always something you'd want to do for um, Warcalf, and it's actually quite a good task as well. But I've just killed the baby dragons with the cannon, and just set it down and let it crack on as well. Jorado tried to give me Kurasks, but I am not doing them, and I probably never will. So I will skip, and let's see what he's going to give me. He's going to give me some Greater Demons. They're okay, and um, they are some totem pieces in the um, catacombs as well, so we'll go and get them done. So, just living that AFK dream of all the Slayer levels at the minute. The next assignment is Anakus. Quick task, Cannonball, can't really ask for much else as well. Just finished off some Trolls. Um, they're actually a pretty good task and they actually do make a bit of money as well. And going back to Jurado after that. And we're going to get some Greater Demons. So, yeah, not too bad. So, for the sheer amount of Dark Beasts I actually do kill, I don't actually get quite a lot of Dark Bows. And that's the first one I probably had in the 10 tasks. Um, I'm quite surprised it's still 700k. But uh, it's just something just not really used often in Iris anymore. It was only really for PKing. But uh, we finished that nice big Dark Beast task. As you can see by the stats as well. Um, got 98 attack, 98 strength, 98 defense as well. I'll keep them all sort of similar XP wise till we get uh, the 99. So I can get them all in one sort of clip. But in terms of the Dark Beast task, that's probably one of the best ones I've had. Um, the rune items always are there and they always do sort of stack up. But that's 1.2 mil for, uh, for a Dark Beast task. Which, you know, can't really moan at. And let's see what Shredder's going to give us next. Cow fights, brilliant. Um, I'd love to go and do some cow fight queen, but I'm not going to lie to you all. I am not in the mood. We're just going to try and uh, smash out these last couple of combat stats. Um, sort of 800k off, so it's probably going to take the best week of like a week, week and a half for Slayer. Training with Shared is just so slow. 
Controversial, I know, but uh, I don't do gargoyles because they're always sort of crowded. Um, they're quite slow and they are bad XP as well. So I've skipped them. I'm going to do some Skelly Wyverns because it's nice and quick. Uh, use of the bracelets as well, so hopefully they'll do the full 20. And I will come back with the next task. We're not doing too bad this video. A couple of God Wars drops to start with and got some Dragon Legs there as well. I know they're not worth a lot nowadays, but uh, I've done quite a lot of Wyverns as well and I've not really got a lot of them either. And just because, you know, I don't want to lie to you all, I did die at Wyverns in 2022. Um, can't remember why, I probably didn't look at the screen, something happened, and uh, yeah, so I dropped. So, the traditional run to Fally, um, and then go back to finish the Wyvern task. I might have been trying to push, like, an extra Wyvern for the kill, just so I could finish it in one trip, and I was struggling a bit. And there, Druidel comes in clutch, the big task, 208 AVCs, it's what we want. I won that crew pet. It's the one pet I want in the game. This is still pre sort of TOA, I think. So you're still talking sort of 400. Sorry, 40 mil for an armor piece as well. So I well, wish there were 400. 40 mil for an armor piece. So it's definitely worth doing for the money as well. I'm going to find a duo partner because it makes it way easier, way more laid back. So that whole 200 obviously tasks we got in the clip before, I got absolutely nothing from. That's a bit of a the rough part with doing all these uh, God Wars boss tasks at Kriara. Sometimes you will get absolutely nothing. But for the Calphite task I got, I thought, you know what, maybe I can go try some Calphite Queen. Maybe, you know, look something out from there. Because it is a brilliant pet and it's a, one of the pets on the list as well to get. This is all going to be after the Max series. Um, once we've Max Kate, we're going to start doing a lot more of a collection log content. But uh, none of the minigame stuff. No, mainly the boss stuff and let's, uh, let's chase some pets. But yeah, I wanted to try some um, Calphite Queen. As you see, the gear I've got is not brilliant. Uh, I'm using a Dragon Rider Lance for Crush, which is, you know, not good. But I just wanted to just see how sort of quick I could do it in terms of using the pool um, and just sort of cycling around for that as well. But uh, did a couple of kills, finished the task. Yeah, it was fine. Um, I believe there as well, I got three boss KQ kills as well, which um, weren't too bad. Not often I get them um, and I weren't feeling in the mood for a full task, so... Drodo just gave us uh, some worms, which we're not fancying. Um, they're very slow. Hellhounds, brilliant. Media XP, AFK. Let's go and crack them out, and uh, we'll come back. So, after those Hellhounds, we got some Greater Demons. Um, again, just something AFK in and Catacomb. And that's pretty much the theme of my slaying, unless I'm in the mood to do anything else. Um, but we're really not too far away from all these combat stats getting to 99. And then after that, we've got a fair bit of uh, skilling to crack out. In between all the tasks, I do make sure to do my birdhouse runs as well. Um, I'm quite conscious that I don't really want to be hunting chinchompers. And I want to sort of chip away as much of that hunter XP now, while I'm still slaying, why I can do other skills as well. But uh, yeah, Jared will give us Kraken for the first time in a long time. Um, I think I had it on block for most of my 99 Slayer, because it is quite long-winded and it is sort of something which is a bit boring. But I've unlocked it really just for collection log slots and there was another reason as well. Um, it was an easy green log so I thought I'd unlock it just to try that out. But it's actually decent money and uh, Samfu's at 48k. Again, I think this was pre-TOA uh, which is why they were so high. It's not too bad at all. But uh, we finished that cra Kraken task, not too much issues and we come back with Dagonoffs. Still not doing Kings. Um, again, this all the sort of boss layer apart from Kriara will come after the Max series. Um, for that sort of content as well. Make sure to subscribe because that will come uh, as soon as we finish maxing, hopefully by the end of the year. But stay tuned for more episodes coming weekly or maybe even every other day um, just to speed up the maxing before the end of the year. So we're going to go to that next task as well. Um, yeah, might have died. Might have died at Dragons. But, you know, it's 2022. Nah, everyone does it now. So, yep. Uh, but like I say, I like to show you when I do it. And sometimes I AFK too much and uh, I die. But that's going to be the end of this episode. I know it's been very Slayer heavy, but uh, sometimes those, those have been my best videos. And if it's something you do enjoy in terms of seeing the Slayer videos and what I do and how I progress through Slayer, let me know because I think after I've maxed as well, along with the collection log, um, the pet hunting, Slayer is probably the one skill out of everything I'm going to sit on and still keep doing. So if you want to see these Slayer videos of me just getting tasks, what I'm doing, how I do it and all that sort of stuff, let me know, because I'll keep I'm more than happy to keep recording my slayer tasks and keep putting videos out as well. So if you enjoyed, please subscribe. We are coming out with a lot of new video content for this month. I think I've got something like seven videos to edit for just for December. And then I'll have some videos made in December for January as well. 
got a bit of ideas of some decent content as well. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.